to everyone, I'm Alessandro and today I'm going to present the implementation steps of Tyrex, a tight regular expression matching architecture. A few words to recall what Tyrex is. It is a project that aims at implementing a naive algorithm for pattern matching by designing a customized processor. Instructions, translated something from regular expressions, will drive the processor which is going to perform the naive search among the data in input. The first challenge we had to face was to decide which kind of tools or languages had to be used in order to design our architecture. We had two possible ways in front of us. The first was to write the whole system with a high-level language like C or C++ and let Vivado HLS produce the register transfer level description. And the second way was to directly describe the hardware architecture through an hardware description language such as VHDL. After some days of research, we arrived at the conclusion that VHDL was the right way. This because it gives us more, much more control on the implementation and more importantly VHDL guarantees better values for what regards performances. After the decision to go on with a VHDL implementation, we started to design the building blocks, so the basic components of the system, such as comparators, fetch and decode units, control logic, data and instruction members, and so on. And whenever the design of each component was complete, we had to verify that it ran accordingly to what we wanted. Therefore, for each component, we designed a specific test suite to test its behavior. When the various components of the architecture were built, what we obtained was a system that resembles a two-stage pipeline processor, with a fetch and decode stage, an execution stage, and a controller that monitors and acts on the behavior of the processor. The fetch and decode unit fetches the instructions from the instruction memory and decodes them producing three different results. The opcode, so the operation of the instruction, the reference data, so the various characters that has to be matched in that clock cycle, and the valid number of characters in the instruction. We faced with a challenge. Whenever the execution flow has to be restored and the control path has to reload the right instruction for the following clock cycle, the pipeline should be flushed, thus losing one or more clock cycles. In order to avoid this situation, we have designed three different fetch and decode units in order to have at disposal the right instruction decode for, for each situation, preventing us from blocking the, the execution. Then we have the execution unit, which takes in input the reference data and the opcode from the previous stage and performs the comparison. Here the challenges were many. First of all, we had to design a way to compare more than one charter per clock cycle, so it increased the matching throughput. This happens thanks to the multi-cluster design. Each cluster takes in input a different portion of the data and produces a result. Here another challenge, all these results have to be analyzed correctly. We deliver this kind of task to a component called Engine, which, after gathering all the intermediate results produced by the various uh, clusters, produces a global matching signal that has to be passed to the next component, which is the control unit. The control unit analyzes all the signals coming from the various stages and controls the exec execution of the pipeline, thanks to the use of a finite state machine. The hardest challenge we faced were many, mainly two. The first was to synchronize the data with the correct instruction that had to be compared in the same clock cycle. The second one was to the implementation of the clean operators such as star and plus and the parentheses. To solve the data synchronization issue, we have used, for example, the multi-fetch and decode units as previously explained, or a direct connection with the data buffer in order to have all the data synchronized at the same clock cycle. To solve the problem of the clean operators and parentheses, we have used the call return paradigm as an ordinary processor, thus when it has to call for a function. This process is supported by a stack buffer. Once the core behavior ran accordingly to our requirements, the next step was to let it communicate with the external world, such as the microblis that sends the signals that control the tired score and the BRAM which holds the data to be processed by the core. In order to do so, we have used an AXI4-like peripheral wrapper that, being editable in VHDL, could guarantee us the correct signals assignment to be sent in and out of the core. Lastly, we produced a block design, 
with all the IP cores needed to generate the bitstream and test it on the VC707 board. As we can see, there is the microblaze, used only with the purpose to test the cores and programmed using Vivado SDK. The Axilite infrastructure in order to send and receive data through all the blocks in the design, the BRAM that is directly connected with the Tyrex IP core, and finally, our custom Tyrex IP core. The idea is to have the possibility to instantiate multiple Tyrex IP cores, each with its own BRAM, in order to have the tiled architecture controlled by the host, in this case, the microblaze. Having a valid block design, we succeeded in producing the bitstream. To configure the Vertex 7 and the implementation phase of the Vivado toolchain produced a series of results for what regards the area utilization. As we can see from the first table, the area utilized by the core is minimal, granting us the possibility to have a multi-core environment and so increase the performances. Then we ran some experiments in order to test the matching throughput of our design with regular expressions, one more complex than the previous one and we ran them also on Flex, which is the state of the art for what regards software pattern recognition. A Tyrex core proved to outperform Flex in all the experiments, making it a valid solution for regular expression matching. Thank you very much for the attention, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.